Alyssa. Bless. Thank you so much for being here with me today. All right. I'm sending you love and light your way. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you like my content. If you like um, my energy all right here, I like to do pick a card readings and horoscope readings. So it could be either or right now. All right. If it is a pick a card reading, please make sure to resonate with your pile. I usually put an object for you to choose with. All right. Pause the video if you need more time. All right. Timestamps. All my detail information is down below in the description. Private readings candle sales all that stuff all right i make spiritual manifestation candles you find that down below as well all right guys i want to say thank you so much for being here for my ogs what's going on all right i love you guys Mwah. all right so yeah guys um please make sure to like share comment subscribe hit the bell button leave me a comment i like to chat all right hi my beautiful souls how are you guys doing guys <clears throat> excuse my voice i kind of lost it and that's why I haven't really posted a video. Um, but I'm here to do a video. So let's get it. Let's go. So today's video is going to be a channeled message from your person. All right. I have three pile selections for you guys to choose from. All right. Here we go. Pile one. We got the stress reliever. Pile two. We have the abundance candle. Pile three. <clears throat> we have the road opener. Now, these are my spiritual candles, but since I had extra because I'm making over here, I was like, what am I going to use today? Let me just use my candles, all right? <laughs> um, yeah, so each pile has a different message. P like, take a moment to, like, meditate for a minute or two and then choose your pile, all right? Because each pile has different messages. I want to make sure you choose, you know, the correct pile. If you need more time, pause the video to resonate with which one is calling you. All right. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been here, who has been liking, subscribing, um, commenting on my videos. Just been a super big support to me, and I love you guys. Um, I want to say thank you to those who have been purchasing my spiritual baths, my spiritual candles, they're very powerful. Thank you so much. Wishing you guys nothing but the best. And yeah. All right. So I love everyone. Mwah. <laughs> and I let's just get into the reading, right? Again, excuse my voice. It's off. It's really off. I'm not off, though. Like, my energy is totally here. It's just that my voice isn't. <laughs> but we're still going to do this, all right? Because that's how dedicated I am, Okay. So again, this is part one, stress reliever. This is part two, abundance. This is part three, road opener. All right, guys. So I will see you at your pile. Timestamps are down below per the usual. And I will have an extended for each pile. That link will be down below as well. All right, guys. Let's get it. Let's go. Hi, part one. How are you? <clears throat> I cannot deal with my voice, but let's get it. All right, so you guys chose the stress reliever candle. All right, bless. This candle is all about protecting yourself from negative energies, negative spirits, negative people, okay? <laughs> this candle helps invite positive energies, joy, abundance, and peacefulness. All right, we're actually burning this one now. Um, This was one of my first, when I first started making the candles, um, I was using only one wick and then I added more wicks because I noticed that since it's such a, I don't know if it looks big here, but it's such a big candle, it needs more than one wick to burn. So I was like, let me use it for my channel. <laughs> so boom. So we're all relieving stress right now. Okay. But this is the candle you guys chose. Bless. Um, just to let you guys know right now, this week, um, up until Sunday, I'm doing a raffle. Whoever buys my candles is going to be enrolled for a um, free reading, a free 20-minute reading with me. And I'm going to choose three winners. So if you're interested in that, either a candle or a bath, you're enrolled. All right, so my Etsy shop is down below. All right, so Spirit Ancient Ancestors Universe Spiritual. Guys, what is the angel number for Paul 1? <clears throat> Part 1, we got 5. Three, three, four, all right? 
5334 is your angel number, Pell One. You're going to go onto Google, put it in angel number 5334, and there goes your message. Bless. Okay? All right, so let me just lay your cards out so I could channel this message for you. I hope everyone's good. I hope everyone's blessed, by the way. I just had my birthday weekend, and it was just very extreme, very busy, full of love and light, and that's, that's just how I lost my voice. <laughs> so I didn't lose it in a bad way. <laughs> I lost it doing beautiful, happy things. But now I'm just like, oh, can I get it back already? <laughs> All right. So let's see, Pawan. What is your person's message to you today? All right. Okay. All right, let's go. Experience your ancestors, universe, spiritual guys. Please come through and help me channel this message for Pow One. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Okay. Hey, babe. Um, I want to tell you something. I've been really selfish. I've been really self-centered and greedy when it comes to us. I know you've probably felt this already. You probably felt my energy or just seen what I've been doing here and you're aware I know you are because you're very smart. I know that you're very intuitive. You're always two steps ahead of the game. You don't call it, but you are, and I know it. I feel it. Certain things you tell me blow my mind. I'm like, how does my person know this? Your intuition is just very good. I've been taking my time in this connection. I know. It's because I'm looking for perfection, babe. I don't want to fail. In my life, I've been through a lot. And I've learned that when you take your time with certain things, you get better results. When you rush and you leap in, you never know what you're really going to get. And that scares me. I like to have control. I like to know what I'm getting myself into. I know I could be very selfish, but it's because I've been heartbroken in the past. Sometimes I feel like I sabotage myself and I put myself into these situations because I see I've done it here with us. I've kind of failed. I mean, I don't want to say I failed. That's kind of rough, but that's genuinely what I feel. I feel like I've messed up. I've self-sabotaged myself here. I want to communicate with you. I want to give you some good news. I do. I've been studying. I've been thinking about my endeavors and where I'm going in life. And I want to speak to you about it. I want to tell you that I also have been keeping a close eye on you. I also have been studying you. I really wanted to understand you before I take this leap of faith that I'm extremely scared to do. Right now, I'm really broken. I'm in pieces. I am. I see us, but there's always something toxic surrounding itself around me. I feel like either I call this or it's just part of how things fall into place in my life. I think it's because of the way I am. Maybe this is just my karma for being selfish and always just thinking about myself and not the other person's feelings. So I'm really hurt right now. I'm trying to shake someone off, but this person won't leave calmly. This person wants to make it difficult for me and I know this is breaking your heart that 
you feel this type of energy coming from me that I've taken so long here. But it's because I'm scared. I am. I don't want to play the victim card, but it's true. I feel trapped in my situation. I feel scared. I feel like I can't bust a move. Every time I try to untangle myself from this entanglement, I can't see. Therefore, I'm still lost and I'm confused. I want you to know that right now, I'm at the fork of the road where I'm deciding what I want to do with my life. I feel like it's time to grow up. I feel like it's time to finally make a decision here. <clears throat> a decision that's going to favor me because I do love you. I do have a lot of feelings for you. My heart opens up around you. And I could see us growing. I could see us becoming something very special here. I just really need to release this toxic person that's in my life. I'm trying, babe. Don't think I'm not. I am. But this person is fighting me. This person is trying to latch on to me for dear life. They won't let go. And I feel like it's about to get ugly. I feel like you're such a smart person. You're so intuitive. Like I said, you're always ahead of the game. And I don't know how, but I feel like it's because you're so connected. I feel like you're really connected to the universe. I feel like you're really connected to your guides, your angels. <clears throat> and even though you may not be telling me certain things, even though you may hold back what you feel or what you see coming, you still see it. You still feel it. And sometimes you call it before it even happens. And this really, really makes me nervous. But at the same time, it really excites me because I know I'm not dealing with someone that isn't smart. Like, you're just very smart. And it really intrigues me. And I don't even think it has to do with smarts, with intellect. I think it just has to do with a higher level of soul. And this is why I feel so connected to you. Right now, I'm super frustrated. I'm frustrated because I'm dealing with something behind the scenes. I'm dealing with this toxic person that, like I said, doesn't want to shake me off. I'm shaking them off. They don't want to let go. And I just feel like I caused this. I know I did because I was being selfish and I was weighing my options out. And now I'm just frustrated. I want to speak to you. I want to tell you about this, but I feel like, how can I tell you about this? Sometimes I feel like you're more than just a connection. You're like a friend to me. I feel very comfortable speaking to you about what I feel and what I go through. But this, I just can't speak to you about because it will hurt you. Right now, I'm manifesting us. Right now, I'm thinking a lot about our connection. And I want to make a major change here. As scared as I am, as confused as I can be, that doesn't mean I don't know what I want. And I want a major change here with you and me. I feel like we've been through a lot. And I feel like you've been very patient with me. And this is what makes you very unique to me. You're so special. You're so unique. You're like a unicorn to me. I want you to understand that I want change despite everything that's gone on here. I do. And I think about it daily. I'm very frustrated. I feel like you're building something, and I just want to tell you this. I feel like you're building a community, or you've built a community, and I see you. You're going to grow into something magical, 
into something beautiful. I feel like I'm stuck in your web. I feel like you've caught me and I'm wrapped up and I just can't let go. All right. But I don't want to let go. But I'm just saying I've tried to let go and I can't let go. I'm stuck here with you. In my thoughts, in my heart, in my mind. If you only knew how much I do care about you. Because of my flighty behavior, I know you probably think I don't care, but I do. I do care. I would do anything to hug you right now. Anything. I know I need to heal. This whole scenario, this whole event between me and you has shown me that I need to heal. I, I have some traumas. You've actually awoken me to these traumas. You've sparked the light. You turn the light on, basically, in my world. I'm seeing things within myself that I didn't know I needed to heal, that I need to heal, that's been holding me back, and that has really activated this selfishness and all this toxic behavior within me. I just can't find the right words to tell you right now. I don't know how to express this to you. Whoa. All right, guys, let me drink water. Hold on. Oh, look at my new water. It's from Hawaii. <laughs> volcano water. I was like, oh, I'm all about the volcanoes. <laughs> but anyway, Hawaii could mean something for you guys. All right. So listen, your person is a very like selfish, narcissistic type of person. Okay, this is just me now. That was their message. You feel me? But this is me talking to you now. All right, so this person is moving very slow. The reason they're moving slow is because they're trying to avoid getting hurt. Why? Because they've been hurt so much in their life. This person may have mommy or daddy issues. There's a lot of healing that has to go on here. All right, you definitely have trapped this person in your web. All right, this is what they feel. They feel like they cannot let go of you, but yeah, at the same time, they're scared and they feel s stuck in their life in general. All right, this person is shaking someone off. Um, This person is just like not letting go of them. They don't want to let go for dear life. They're like, ah. like the plane has left and they're at, they're holding onto the wing of the plane. Like, wait, I'm coming too. And it's just like, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, sis. Let go. <laughs> All right, so your person is at the fork of the road. Where they're trying to see what they're going to do with their life. Because they're not satisfied where they are right now. They're very unhappy. Alright? This person, you guys are very intuitive. You guys are connected to the universe, your, the stars, your guides, your ancient ancestors. You guys have a very strong intuition. So you call everything before it happens in a sense. So this person is aware of that as well. And they really find this intriguing. It scares them a little bit. But it's kind of like also very like, wow. Like, I'm dealing with someone very special. All right, this is not just your average girl, guy. You know what I'm saying? So they are very, like, wow about you. You really wow them. They do feel like you hold back a lot. Like, you know a lot, but you don't say anything. Like, you give bits and pieces. Like, you give them clues, but you don't tell them directly what you know. All right, and they're frustrated right now. This could be due to travels, like, not being able to get to you. But definitely due to lack of communication or lack of communicating something to you, all right? So they're frustrated. They're pissed off, especially with this other third-party person that doesn't want to let go. And they're just being super annoying. All right. Um. <clears throat> so this is what we got, baby. Now we're going to do the Charmies. All right. This person cares more than you know. That's what they wanted to tell you. That they care more than you know. All right. Despite their behavior. Because this person may have done or may have been acting very flighty. All right. Very selfish. Okay. So. Oh. I'm going to get a music card. Hold on. Because this is my new deck. <laughs> And I totally forgot about it because I have, like, a million new decks. <laughs> I'm obsessed, guys. I just be ordering, like, new decks every week. <laughs> All right, so spit. 
ancient ancestors and the spiritual guide. What is this? What is the artist for this reading for Pal One? Pal One. <clears throat> Miles Davis, play like you don't know how. Progress is impossible without shock. The keynotes are those left unplayed. Mm. That's deep. Play like you don't know how. Meaning, for me, this is like you because you're very intuitive and you're ahead of the game. So it's kind of like you are playing this game for some of you guys, you may be playing this game with this person while you already know what's about to happen or what's coming, but you act like you don't know, but just play like you don't know how, right? Progress is impossible without shock, right? So meaning progress is impossible without shock. So things may have happened here that shocked you, but in order to progress, you needed to know about these things, okay? The keynotes are those played without Wait, the key notes are those left unplayed. All right. That's that's super deep. The key notes are those left unplayed. All right. So that's going to be something for you guys. The key notes are those left unplayed. Meaning that there were some notes, some keys that you guys needed to play that were the key. So it's kind of like, for me, like, you, there may have been something missed here. Because it's the key notes to this connection. They were left unplayed. Yeah. All right, so this is your card. <laughs> um, let's go into the Charmies. That was too deep for me to think right now. It's five in the morning, guys. I just woke up. <laughs> all right. Um, this gets loud, so you may want to lower the volume. All right. Ready, set, go. Very ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys. Please come through and the channel the charmies for all one. All right. Let's organize, guys. Let me zoom in so you guys can see with me. Okay. So, guys, I'm definitely doing an extended where I'm going to do an extended channel message. Like, more about what your person would like to tell you. If you're interested in that, the link will be down below. You're more than welcome to join me there. It always gets cool over there. It gets spicy because we go in deeper. You know, it's like a... You know, it's obviously an extended. But... Like, we already get, like, the preview here, and we go a little deeper over there. All right? So, anyway, let's get it. Let's go. We got here the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. All right? So, some of you guys, like, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pi Cancer Pisces, or Scorpio. Or they could be, right? Because these are the signs I'm seeing here. All right? So, you're very straight up. You're the type of person that plays no games. You're ready and willing to cut people off when you feel like they're doing you dirty. And I feel like this person is very aware of this, that you could be very cold in this way, where it's like as much as you care, as much as you love, you're not going to sit around and let somebody play you. All right. This person has a lot of love for you. This person definitely has love for you. And I feel like they've held it back. They haven't told you what they feel entirely, all right? But this person definitely loves you, all right? So, let's get it, let's go, all right? As far as initials go, we have G as in Gary, George, Georgia, Greg. We have W as in Washington, Wendell, Wanda, Wendy, G again. A as in Anthony Arnold. Come on, let me pick you up. <laughs> M as in Mike, Monica, Mary, Mitchell, Martin. J as Jalissa, Justin, Jacob, Jonathan, Jr. All right. W as in Wanda, Washington, Wendell. 
All right. O as an Oscar. October. Some of you guys could be born in October. Shout out to all my Libras and Scorpios. Happy birthday. Okay. <laughs> all right. Any more letters? I think that's all the letters we got, babe. Oh, no. We got one more here. N as in Nancy Nando. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay. Now, let's get into the Charmies. All right. Spirit is asking you to believe in what you're manifesting. If you're trying to manifest this person and this connection, there's a need for you to believe in it a little bit stronger, okay? This person feels like you are their happiness. You are my sunshine. You make this person happy. You know, you make them feel good. You are my sunshine, my little sunshine. You make me happy when you're around, okay? <laughs> I would sing it, but my voice is like crap right now. <laughs> Life is a gift. And this is what spirit wants to remind you. Life is a gift, baby. Regardless whether you go through something tough or amazing, it's a gift. You, It's a learning experience, all right? Love. This situation definitely involves love. And look at this. I love you, right? But look how little... Let me see if I could show you. I guess you could kind of see it. Because it's kind of like rusty. But it says, I love you, right? Maybe you can see the other side. Yeah, I guess. I love you. And it's so small. All right. It's kind of like this person, for me, is hiding the fact that they love you. All right. But they love you. All right. Um, your person definitely feels like you're very playful. There's a lot of love here. All right. You or your person could be a dragon in the Chinese calendar. All right. And um, they feel that you're very passionate. You're very fiery. It's kind of like you're an amazing unicorn dragon creature. Okay? So, like, you're very different. You're very special. And this person sees a lot within you. Like, you're very powerful. But you, they, also, they are also fearful of you because you have these magical powers or this magical vibe. Like, you know, they're a little bit nervous of you. But there is definitely, like, some type of prosperity coming your way. Abundance, okay? And fortune, like, some type of good luck is coming your way. Something that's meant to be for you in your destiny, all right? All right, so after all this time, you want to come back? All right, so, that, like, <laughs> for some of you guys, or for all of you guys, you may have been dealing with this person for some time. And you're just going to be like, after all this time, because this person has taken their time, you know, and it's just like, you may feel like you've been having a lot of patience with this person and you just feel like they're taking their time here. And it's a little bit frustrating. All right. Just a tad bit frustrating because it's like, um, what are we going to do here? Hello. All right. Your person is saying, I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. All right. So they're never letting go of this love. All right. Regardless of what happens between you and them, they're never letting go of you. So many energy for sure. I love you to the moon and back. Mm hmm. Never, never give up. Again, spirit reminding you, don't give up on what you're manifesting. Don't give up on what you want in life. OK. Live the life you love. All right. Don't live the life anyone else wants you to live. Live the life you love. Learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. All right? I definitely see your person flying in. They think about... This person thinks about you a lot. A lot. All right? Like I said, they feel like you're very unique. You're very special. We're all mad here. Alice in Wonderland. So you're like Alice in Wonderland. All right? You're special. You're unique. You take chances. You're like, whatever. Let's see where life goes. <laughs> All right? This connection is very spiritual. Soulmate, twin flame vibes. All right? This person is definitely in their head about this connection. All right? There's a lot of mind space thinking about what? What did I do? Is it my fault? What should I do? I don't know. But would I be forgiven? Da -da -da -da. All right? They're hoping for the best in this connection, though. Okay? Okay? Your person feels that you are beautiful, handsome. And there is a lot of mystery in this connection, for sure. For sure. 
there's so much mystery here and what i'm seeing is like definitely like there's so much depth not depth depth into this connection like it goes deep this connection all right it's not just like oh i like you ha 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 like no this connection goes very deep within the soul all right your person sees you as a star they feel like you're very healing okay and there's travels in your near future i see you guys flying somewhere okay okay yes and i see diamonds all right obviously there's a diamond here <laughs> but i see this person wanting to get you some type of diamonds jewelry something very nice Perhaps love, all right? This person is like, maybe I'll go with love, all right? There's a need for trust here, all right? There's a need for you to manifest. This person dreams a lot about you. A lot of um, meeting you in the 5D. No matter where you are, this person is always thinking about you. This person is always, like, feeling your presence. She believes she could, so she did. You're a go-getter, regardless whether you're female or male. You're a go-getter. You're the type of person that thinks about something and boom, you're making it happen. All right? And this person really admires this about you. It's like you're a master manifester. You think about it. You talk about it. Whatever. You make it happen. Like, people would just be, their jaws drop. Like, what the hell? Yeah. All right? So, this person would like to have children with you if you don't already have children with them. All right, so I do see that they would like to have children with you. This person is very good when it comes to children or they just really love children. All right, so they want to have children here with you. <laughs> All right, and they and they would be the type that would help you with the child. You or your person could be a Pisces and they feel that you're very intuitive. You or your person could be an Aries and they feel that you're very courageous. You or your person could be a Cancer, and they feel that you're very imaginative. We got Pisces again. All right, you or your person could be a Virgo, and they feel that you're very practical. You or your person could be a Sagittarius, and they feel that you're very optimistic. All right, so this could be your sign, their sign, or within your charts, all right? Funny, funny thing. So I look at my natal chart, right? And I'm, I've looked at it in the past, but I never really, like, I've just read through it. I never really, like, looked at my houses and stuff. Like, yeah, I know. That's whatever. So, um, <laughs> so someone asked me for it so I put, so I could put it in my, um, description. I was like, all right, cool. Let me go get it. So I did it. And then I'm, like, actually, like, looking at the house placements. And I'm like, I have every horoscope in my natal chart besides Taurus. My mom's a Taurus, though. But besides Taurus, I'm like, wow. Like, I have a little bit of everything. <laughs> but yeah. So, guys, anyway. Just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> um, I'm going to go off to the extended now. Where I'm going to go deeper into this connection. I'm going to pull more messages from your person. Obviously, pull some tarot cards. Get more of an extended um, channel message from your person. What else they want to say to you? And a message for you from the universe. So the link for that is down below. You're more than welcome to join me there. But if this is where we part ways, that is okay. I love you. All right. Thank you for being here. Guys, excuse my voice again. You know this is not me. But your girl definitely celebrated her life. So, you know, now I'm dealing with the consequences of screaming. <laughs> All right. So I will see you guys in the next one. I love you. Please make sure to like comment subscribe hit the bell button if you're new to my channel welcome to the family join the family all right this is a dope as loving community so many caring lovey souls so join the community hit the bell button all right and let me know who you are comment down below i haven't wrote back to comments since friday because i've been so busy but trust and believe that i am going to be doing that today because i like writing back to everybody all right, I'll see you guys. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to your reading. All right, guys. So first and foremost, you guys chose the abundance candle. All right. All right, look at that. How beautiful is that? All right, we got the Aventarn, Aventine crystal here, clear quartz crystal, some roses, some other stuff, you know, 
a lot of spiritual things going on in here. <laughs> All right, this candle brings abundance, good luck, protection, love, money, wealth. And it also helps with, obviously, manifestation and relationships, all right? Opening those doors. Bless. Okay, so, guys, just to let you know, on my Etsy shop this week until Sunday, today is the, what is today? The 7th of October. So, till Sunday, I'm doing this special where if you buy a candle or a spiritual bath, I'm going to put your name into a raffle where I'm giving a free reading. I'm going to choose three winners, all right? So if you're interested in that, my Etsy shop is down below. All right, so anyway, let's get it. Let's go. Spirit, Ancient Ancestors, Universe, Spiritual Guys, please come through and help me channel the message here for Pal 2. What is their angel number? All right, Pal 2. Your angel number is 3... Three, six, five. All right, thirty-three, sixty-five is your angel number, pal. Two, you're gonna go onto Google, put angel number meaning thirty-three, sixty-five, and there goes your message from spirit. All right, bless. All right, guys. So, let me just lay out the cards, and then I'm going to channel your message. All right, bless. All right, beautiful. So yeah, guys. Um, my voice is a little gone because. It was definitely my birthday this past weekend, and I, when I celebrate my life, I celebrate my life. All right, so there was a lot of singing, a lot of screaming, a lot of joy, and this is why my voice is gone. <laughs> but I'm getting it back, all right? I'm getting it back. I am taking care of my voice. It's a big deal for me because, you know, obviously I use it, <laughs> all right? But... Yeah, let's get it. Let's go. Let's see what's happening here in your connection. What your person would like to say to you at this time. All right. I pulled some tarot cards, some oracle cards, and my handwritten notes. Okay. So I want to pull a music card here. It's very ancient. Ancestors, universe, spiritual. He's going to do it. What is the card? Part two. Part two. Okay, we'll do that one last. All right, guys, so let's get it, let's go. Let's get into this message from your person, all right? I will have an extended where I'm going to do an additional extended message, channeled extended message. <laughs> all right, the link for that is down below. All right, for whoever's interested. Anyway, let's go. All right. <clears throat> hey, babe, how you doing? I hope everything's okay with you. I want you to know that I really enjoy my time with you. I really enjoy all the moments we've shared. I've, I've, I feel like you're such a fun individual to be around. The energies are always great. Um, I do want to let you know that I have a lot of love for you. I could see myself being in a full-blown relationship here with you. All right? You could be waiting for me right now. And I want to apologize to you for this. All right. This has brought a lot of anxiety towards me in my life. Sometimes I have difficulty sleeping when it comes to our connection. Because I think about you a lot. I think about what I've done here. I think of all the conflicts and competition energies I have brought into this connection. I feel like you're such a smart individual. I feel like you're so connected. You're always two steps ahead of me. Even though you may not you may not call it right away, I feel it. Sometimes you call certain things like, "Oh, I know this. I know that." Like, "What why is this? Why is that?" And I'm just like, "Whoa. Like you're so intelligent. Like how are you always two steps ahead of the game? You're always you're always ahead of me." And this really, like, I admire this about you. The fact that you're so smart, you're so connected. I feel like you're su you're someone very special. You have such a, a way of healing people. You have such a way of, like, just bringing light into a dark room. And this is what I really admire about you. At night, I think about you a lot. I stress. I stress because I know I may have fucked up here. 
I brought in some type of competition into our connection and you didn't deserve this. I feel like you're waiting for me. You're waiting for me to make the right decisions. You're waiting for me to come forward and express what I genuinely feel because I hold back a lot. I hold back out of fear. I've been through a lot in my life and I just feel like I may have self-sabotaged myself in this connection. I know I did. And I see family with you. I see myself having a family with you. I see us having children. I see us just really enjoying life for what it is. I see us celebrating our connection, our love. All right? I know people love being around us because we have such great energy. We have such a cool connection. I want to go on and on an adventure with you. I want to go away with you. I want to have fun. I want to be intimate with you. I really do. I'm so attracted to you. I feel like you are a star in my eyes. I do. I put you on a pedestal. You're special to me, babe. I want you to know this. I know I may have caused some delays here. And these delays definitely have caused sadness in my world. I could only imagine in yours. I'm sorry if I ever made you feel ignored. I'm sorry if you ever felt that I didn't care. Because I do. I hide it, but I do. It bothers me a lot. Because I know what type of potential this connection has. And I played games. You didn't deserve this. At all. I want to move forward here with you. I want success with you. I want to leave all this tough energy behind and move into a better energy. I don't want to be left out in the cold. I, I, I want to recover. I want harmony. I want balance. I want to recover this connection. I even want to move. I even want to move into a new home and get a new endeavor. Like, I just want to make major changes in my life, okay? And I feel like I need to do this. I feel like I've been called to do this. I'm sorry if there was ever a third party situation here that bothered you with my friends, with my family, or with another person. I'm sorry I brought this energy in. You didn't deserve it. Like I said, I see so much more with you. And the reason why I cry at night, the reason why I'm stressed at night is because I think about everything I've done here and how I didn't make the right moves when it came to you. I know you know I care. You have to know I care because I do care. You make me so happy. And I'm pretty sure I've made you happy too. But all this other stuff I brought into the mix may have sabotaged us in a way where I feel like you don't trust me. And I understand you. You have all the right in the world to feel how you feel. And I am sorry if I've made you wait on this connection. If I made you wait for a commitment, I am sorry about this. Because I do have love for you. It, it wasn't, I didn't make you wait on purpose to hurt you. It was just that I was being selfish. And I needed to handle certain things before getting into this connection with you. I'm sorry. I'm seeing things differently now. This winter, this fall, I want to rebirth our connection. I see something coming. Right now, I'm taking a pause to reflect on what I've done and how I could make this connection work, how I could make certain things happen here between me and you, because I want to rebirth this connection. Expect me to offer you a very passionate connection in the winter. Expect it. It's coming. I'm being pulled to do this. I feel like you're not telling me entirely what you know. I feel like you are holding back from me a little bit. But I understand you have your reasons. 
I feel like you're so smart. I feel like you know more than you say. And you're so unique. You do things in different ways. I'm just not used to having a person like you in my life. You're very different. I know that I've been flighty and I've learned that these energies are temporary. Lust is temporary. Love is forever. And I've learned this with you. I've been compromising, trying to make everything work out. Things that have going on on the side, our connection. And this has only really cause delay this has only really depleted us in our connection and i am learning that now i need to think about who i really care about most and focus on them instead of trying to make everyone happy instead of trying to please everyone i'm listening to my intuition now i'm listening to self i am understanding myself now you really awaken certain things within me that taught me that I've been moving incorrectly, that I've been doing the wrong things in my life. I know you are my soulmate. I know. I could tell by the way you move. I could tell by the way you act. I could just tell by everything that has happened here that you are my soulmate. You are that special person. When I look in the mirror, I kind of see you in it too. It's kind of like when I look at you, I see you, a different version of me. And it's so beautiful, but yet so scary to me as well. It's so intense. I'm not used to this type of connection. I feel like right person, wrong time. When we've met, when we had these situations where I had some type of competition in the mix, a third party, I feel like I wasn't ready for this type of connection. I was definitely wanting you, definitely wanting to be with you. Trust me, I, I do, I did, you know? I did and I do. But it was just wrong timing because I felt like I had, so, I feel like I had so much things going on in my life, a lot of conflicts, issues with my endeavors, issues at home, you know? And unfortunately, here came this beautiful angel into my life and I just didn't know how to treat you because I had so much going on. And I just honestly didn't know how to love. I still, I'm still learning how to love. I'm very, I'm a very passionate person. I want you to know that. I'm very emotional and passionate at the same time. Sometimes I let my emotions and my passion drive for me instead of my mind. I need to think a little bit more when it comes to my relationships. And that's what I'm learning here. Right now, money is my, my priority because I'm having issues with my endeavors. I'm having issues at home. And I really need to get my finances in order. I feel like money isn't really flowing my way right now. I don't think things are going very well for me financially. And... I want to be able to offer you something because you deserve it. And this is why I'm focusing mainly on money right now. But this winter, I am going to make something happen between me and you. This winter, I want to start over very passionately and just embrace this love. My karmic knows I really love you. This competition... This third party, whoever this is, trust me. They know that I really love you, that my heart belongs to you. Everyone knows this. They would be blind to not know this. And I hope that you know this, that I love you and my heart belongs to you. Right now, I just need to get my endeavors in line I need to fix things at home financially. 
but I know you're my soulmate. And I trust that we will come together and make things right really soon. I'm gonna do something very amazing for you. Boom. <laughs> all right, Patsu. So that was pretty deep. Your person is going through some stuff, all right, with their endeavors, with their home, all right? They are going to want to ask you to basically come out of this cold energy. There is a lot of cold energy here. There's a lot of passion, a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, but there is a lot of cold energy here, all right? And I feel like definitely this person played some games and was trying to give their energy to multiple people at one time, all right? Whether this is family, friends, another lover, however it goes, there was a lot of compromising here that wasn't really for them, was for other people, all right? And because of that they lost something, all right? And now they're really like tapping into themselves and understanding what errors they made here and what they want moving forward. And they understand that these things that they have made they may have done or may have um did to satisfy themselves were just very temporary and you're not temporary. So they feel foolish, all right? Some of you guys, I'm really getting like an Egyptian vibe, especially off this card. Some of you guys could be like, have like some type of like very strong features, very strong connections to Egypt, your ancestors. All right. You may look Egyptian. All right. You guys could have very big, bold eyes. Like your eyes are very like, you know, your eyes are like your, your best feature. Very strong, bold eyebrows. All right, I'm very, I'm getting like, all right, you guys, for, for, for what I'm getting here is definitely that you guys have ties to ancient Egypt and these ties are very strong. All right, so you and this person may have had, you guys are definitely like soulmates, twin flames, but you guys may have had like some type of journey in a past life where you and this person were very high up there in the egyptian world all right if i'm putting it in the right term form like king queen status all right and that's what i'm feeling here and i'm feeling like the divine feminine in this connection is awakening or making some shift here in the divine masculine all right the divine feminine here is more in check than the divine masculine and i feel like the divine feminine here plays no games, all right? And there's just this crazy bond here, all right? But the divine masculine cannot look at the divine feminine without losing their shit, all right? Because it's kind of like, wow, wow, all right? You're just like, it's not even about beauty. It's just like, you're everything, <laughs> All right, so guys, let's go into the Charmies. All right, so this gets loud. You may want to lower your volume now. All right, ready, set, go. Very ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys. Please give me the Charmies for part two. Okay. All right, Um. for reals? Really, though? Really, though? Let me see. Okay, um, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see the Charmies with me. All right, I am definitely holding an extended, guys. So if you want to hear an extended channel message from your person, what else they would like to say to you, the link for that will be down below. All right, you, you're more than welcome to join me. Um, If you're new to my channel, welcome. How you doing, baby? Um, if you like my content so far, you should consider subscribing, becoming part of this community, all right? This community is full of some dope, beautiful, soul-loving souls, like so many loving people. It's, 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 it's amazing, all right? So you may want to join, all right? And let me know if you do. Comment down below. I like to say hi to all my new subbies, all right? For all my returning viewers, what's going on, my OGs? How y'all doing, baby? Your girl lost her voice celebrating her birthday. Yes, oh my God. But yeah, so let's get into this. So yes, this person has a lot of love for you. 
a lot, a lot, a lot of love for you. All right. Overflowing love for you. And it's like they want to um, overcome obstacles that you guys have been through here in this connection. All right. So this person is going to want to give you some type of love proposal. They're going to want to offer you their their love, give you a solid connection. All right. So first, middle, last initials. We have you as Ulysses, unicorn. Z as zebra, zale, Zena. Okay. O as an Oscar, October. All right. That's it. Oh, we have another Z. All right, I feel like this person is definitely sleeping on this connection. All these Zs. All right. Um. Okay, that's it so far. Let's go into the Charmies. You definitely inspire this person a lot. All right, some of you guys could resonate as a mermaid. All right, mermaid life. All right, um, your person finds you very alluring, very mysterious, very oof you're so sexy it's like mm, my person like i told you they can't even look at you because they look at you and they're just like <sighs> like they lose their breath all right fearless they feel like you're definitely fearless you're a go-getter all right again you are beautiful handsome to them in general you are not just to them all right you guys are definitely protected by your spiritual your spiritual team okay forever all right this person would like to have you in their life forever they feel like you're a miracle babe yeah like you're a miracle you just fell out of the sky you guys are definitely soulmates twin flames okay it's coming out multiple times this is a very strong connection very very strong all right this person is extremely sexually attracted to you all right they want to be intimate with you so bad all right. They feel like you're a go getter, like you, you're a master manifester. You say you're going to do something and you really do it. You're about that life. All right. I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. So they're not letting you go. They're letting you know, like, listen, regardless of what happens here, you're my soulmate and I will be with you. All right. Even if it's in heaven. All right. Um, give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Marilyn Monroe. All right. So basically, Spirit is saying, like, your mindset, like, your your mentality is everything. Your faith is everything. All right? So, as long as your faith is in check and your mind is in check, you can make anything happen. All right? There is a lot of mysteries here in this connection for a fact. Your person sees you as a star. You're very healing. You're very grounded. You don't let people move you. You move yourself. All right? Yeah. So much of me is made from what I learned from you. You'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. All right. So you, like I said, you really moved this person. You really made this person feel like you are their person. All right. And you also really taught this person a lot and they changed because of you. All right. Your spiritual team is watching over you. They're helping you manifest at this time, babe. And I see you guys having some type of blessing coming your way. Like, star status all right so some of you guys are probably looking to if you're not already like a star famous or popular you're looking to get into that route um but there's something coming your way they're they're looking out for you so if you're already famous or a star i see more growth but for those who aren't yet i see you growing into this star okay so this person is thinking, perhaps I'm going to go with love because this person definitely did not decide to go with love. They decided to go um, on their own path, probably thinking more from a practical place than a heart place. All right. I love you to the moon and back. This person has a lot of love for you. All right. Children can be a factor in this connection. All right. So for some of you guys, your person has children or you have children. And this is a major factor here. All right. Um, This person dreams a lot about you. At night, they think a lot about you, and therefore, they go into the fifth dimension and dream with you. They meet you there, all right? Their dreams are very vivid, by the way. Always love. They'll always have love for you. They feel like you're very beautiful, handsome. You're very playful, all right? You're very sweet, okay? So they love this energy about you. The wheel is turning, Paul Tool, all right? So something is about to happen in your favor. Something very fortunate is coming your way monies love all of that okay um you or your person could be an aquarius and they feel that you're very friendly 
You or your person could be a Taurus and they feel that you're very trustworthy. You or your person could be a Leo and they feel that you're very generous. You or your person could be a Libra and they feel that you're very charming. Again, we have Aquarius. All right. Or you and your person could be a Cancer and they feel that you're very imaginative. All right. Plus. So this could be your sign, their sign or within your charts. All right. That's amazing. All right, guys. So now I'm going to go off to the extended where I'm going to do an extended channel message from your person. If you're interested in that, the link is down below. You're more than welcome to join me there. Bless. But if this is where we part ways, I just want to say I love you. OK, please like the video if you resonated um, with this video, of course, or my energy, however it goes. All right. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Um, hit the bell button so you get notified when I post. I usually post three to four times a week. All right. I try my best. And um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you felt. All right, guys. I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Paul 3. How you doing, sweethearts? All right, so we're here to do your reading. You guys chose Road Opener. All right, so what does Road Opener consist of? All right, Road Opener helps to bring happiness, new beginnings, courage, um, strength, personal power, and improvement money. All right, Woo look how beautiful it looks. All right, we got Tiger Eye Crystal in here, Clear Quartz Crystal, roses, a bunch of other herbs, and spiritual stuff, all right, to help you open up them roads. All right, so Paul 3, you may be opening up some type of roads when it comes to this person in general in your life. All right, so bless. Let's see what your angel number is. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please come through and give me the angel number for Paul 3. That was pretty tight. Okay, okay. All right. So, guys, um, first let me give you your number because we got two numbers here. All right, your number is 6266 and 666. All right, so look up both numbers on Google. Put that number in, angel number meaning, and that is a message from spirit for you, Pal3. All right, and um, I am doing this raffle in case you guys want to um, be part of it. Whoever buys my candles or my spiritual baths this week up until Sunday, today's the 7th, I believe, um, I'm enrolling everyone, their name, into a raffle where I'm going to choose three people who are going to get a free personal reading, okay? So if you're interested in that, my Etsy shop is down below, da 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 da, -da. all right? <laughs> so let me um, lay out the cards before I channel my message, all right? from your person will channel the message from your person mm -hmm. mm, okay hmm <laughs> We have a lot of messages here, so I'm just going to unfold these afterwards. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Hey, babe. How you doing? I hope everything's okay with you. I want to speak to you because I want to talk to you about what I feel. I've been wearing a mask for quite some time in this connection, and I feel like it's time to show you who I really am and what I really feel in this connection. I am definitely sure about what I want here. There's no questions about what I feel or about what I want. All right. And this is why I feel like I need to communicate with you. I've thought about this a lot and it's, I'm just building up the courage. All right. I feel like there's been a lot of obstacles in our connection but I am holding it down. A lot of people judging, pointing fingers, a lot of hands in the cookie jar that just don't belong there. But there's no need to worry because I am holding it down. I am being very grounded about what I want here. I know what I want. And what I want here with you, my love, is union. I want union. I want marriage. I want the whole nine with you. I feel very connected to you. I feel like you are my soulmate twin flame 
I don't feel. I know you are my soulmate twin flame. I want to take a leap of faith. I don't care if I have to drop everything in order to do this with you. I feel like it's only right. I want to take a leap of faith with you. I want to bring this relationship up out of the ashes. I want to rebirth this connection because I know what potential I have here with you and I don't want to lose it. I am definitely receiving my karma right now for what I have done in the past and I want you to know that. But that's okay. I deserve it because I know I've caused some type of obstacles here. I know I've been taking my time with this connection. Right now I'm resting. I'm trying to get my thoughts and everything in order. I feel like we've been through a lot and that's why I have to stand my grounds when it comes to these individuals who have gotten in the way. It's like obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. And I'm just resting right now trying to get things in order. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do next here with you. I feel like you're such a loving person. You have such a big, big heart. And you've given me so much of yourself. You've nurtured me. You've cared for me. You've given me more than a lot of people have ever given me in life. And this is why I want to take a leap of faith with you. I am a fool for you, baby. I am. My energies are all over the place. And it's because I, I'm the type of person that likes to satisfy everybody. But I'm noticing that this is not serving me. Therefore, I want to take a leap of faith with you. Even if that means I have to drop everything in order to do this. I'm willing to because I know the prize is large. I know I'll have abundance with you happiness, everything. I feel like this relationship is very powerful. I feel like you're very powerful. I feel like you're very unique. You're very different. You bring a very healing, powerful energy here. You lighten me up. You open up my heart. You make me feel very emotional and happy and passionate at the same time. I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. This scares me a little bit, the fact that you have all this power over me. But at the same time, I know it's because this is a very special connection. I'm seeing things differently now. I'm seeing things from a different point of view. At one point, I felt like I wasn't seeing things for what they really were. I thought this was just puppy love. But now I'm seeing things for what they really are. And this is powerful. Puppy love would have faded by now. But what I feel for you is just growing every day. Growing, growing. You may not know this because I am resting. I am holding back right now from telling you this. But this is what I feel. This is what I see. This is what I want. And I am going to take action. I'm going to take very collective action. I know we are going to be together forever. Like I said, I want to marry you. I know you're my person. There's no doubt about it. Don't ever leave me, please. Don't ever let go of me. Because I got it bad for you, babe. I've cried over this connection, over my errors. All right? It was just trial and errors. I made a mistake. I, I didn't mean to, like, hurt you or anything like that. I'm sorry. But... Within this event, within these situations, I've noticed how loyal, how caring you are, and how real you are. And I've really got it bad for you. I can't stop thinking about you and what this connection brings. I'm, sh I'm just like overwhelmed thinking about everything that's happened here and what's to come. Your love is so sweet. It's one of a kind. You're so nurturing. You're so caring. You're so loving. I know I'm not going to find another person like you. I really want you back. I really need you back. I'm seeing you in a whole new light. I am. And I want you to know that I do have abandonment issues. I have issues with my parents. I have issues rooting back to my childhood that I didn't even know affected me till I got into this connection. You have definitely opened up my eyes. And my family really likes you. They feel like you're a great person. You're a really good person. And you bring very positive energies.
I've noticed with this connection that you are definitely someone very special. You were brought to me by the gods. I feel like definitely we're soulmates, twin of flames. I know this. And it's just so powerful that it scares me a little bit. I'm definitely gaining a whole lot of wisdom through our journey. I feel like stepping into your waters, I've never felt that energy before. I've never felt this kind of temperature before. It's very mysterious to me. It's the unknown. The unknown, even if it's a blessing, it's scary. So I am learning through this journey with you, babe. I want you to understand that you are my soulmate, my twin flame, and souls are not in the body, but the body is in the soul. So I am always with you, and I'm always thinking about you, and I'm always feeling you. It's as if I can't let, I can't shake it off. Boom. <laughs> wow, pal three. All right, so this person really, really does love you. They really got it bad for you, and they're really into you, all right? This person sees how genuine of a person you are, how caring of a person you are, and how much you have brought to the table when it comes to this connection. And they're not wanting to let go of you. They do feel like, like this was very unexpected. They didn't expect this type of love from this connection. They really thought it was going to be like puppy love, you know what I'm saying? Like something that was very intriguing they 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 liked you there was passion here all of the above etc cetera, etc cetera. but they didn't know they were gonna fall head over heels for you and they did all right so now this person is confessing to you that they did and that they need to make some type of major shift changes for you all right so now we're gonna get into the charmies if you're sensitive to noise you may want to lower it now all right so ready set go Internet Assessor, Universe, Spiritual Guys, please come through and help me channel for Pal 3. What are the charmings for Pal 3? Alright, Pal 3. Um, Guys, I am going to definitely hold an extended. So if you want to join me there, you're more than welcome. The link is down below. The extended is going to be an extended message from your person. Alright, what else they want to say to you? Alright, let's see. It always gets juicy over there because, you know, it connects. Excuse me. It connects or whatever. All right. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> to Jalissa's channel. All right. If you like my channel so far, my content so far, consider subscribing. Hit the bell button so you get notified. I post three to four times a week. Okay. And if you're a returning viewer, what's going on, my OGs? How you doing, baby? All right. I hope everyone's blessed. I hope everyone's okay. All right, you really make this person happy, like, for real, like, big-time happy, all right? This person sees family with you. This person sees themselves being in a very happy, committed relationship with you, all right? So now we're going to go into first, middle, last initials. We got V as in Victor, Veronica, Vincent, Valerio. We got Z as in Zena, Zebra, Zale, all right? We have I as in Elise, Igloo. <laughs> we have... W as in Wanda, Washington, Wendell. But it's kind of sideways, so I feel like it's like an M as well. So Mike, Monica, Mitchell, Martin, all right? We got H as in Harry, Helen, Hernandez, um, Hector, Hilton, um, Hillary. L as in Larry, London, Louisa, Lewis. Um, we got J, Jalissa, Justin, Jacob, Jonathan, um jerry jr e edward elizabeth eddie edison um i think that's it for letters is that it yeah all right let's get into the charmies all right this relationship definitely brings love all right this relationship was built off of love and this person has a lot of love for you i love 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 you all right i definitely see a door opening for you guys pal three with love all right bless all right, your person feels that you're very brave, okay? And you're very beautiful, handsome. Mm -hmm. All right, um, this person also wants to rush in pretty quickly to discuss something with you because they keep thinking about you and it's like they need to get something off their chest, okay? 
trust trust is an issue in this connection all right this person may have been very flighty or may have done something here that made you lose trust in them all right so there's a need for you to trust the process trust the situation for what it is all right all right this person dreams about you a lot they're very hopeful for the future with you and they do have love for you something is about to happen now guys between you and this person in the fall all right you guys are blossoming. You guys are evolving. You guys are lifting off. You're transforming right now. So God bless. All right. I love you to the moon and back. So this person has a lot of love for you. A lot of love. All right. And they're waiting for something. It's like time is of the essence. They're waiting for something to happen. They're waiting to do something here. All right. Um, they're manifesting this connection. They're manifesting everything um, that they want here with you. You're definitely enough for this person. So if you ever felt like insecure or like you weren't enough, just know that you are. All right. Yeah, this person is rebirthing this connection. It's like that Phoenix vibe. All right. Bringing this connection up out of the ashes. All right. Live, laugh, love. All right. So there's a need for you to live your life, laugh a little and just embrace love. Whatever you're manifesting right now is coming your way. All right. You made a wish and your guides are about to grant it for you. All right. This person loves the way you dress. They like your style. They like the way you are, your fashion. You could be like a fashionista or a very fashionable person. All right. This person is definitely wearing a mask. They're not showing you entirely what they feel. All right. Um, the wheel is turning for you and this person. So something very fortunate is about to happen for you. All right. I see definitely also blessings when it comes to your endeavors. All right. If you have a sibling you trust, speak to them about the situation. Maybe they have some good guidance for you. All right. And I definitely see you. You are the divine feminine, regardless whether you're female or male. Males and females both have masculine and feminine energies, believe it or not. OK, so you you are definitely embracing your divine feminine energy. You're very nurturing, very loving, very caring. All right. This person really loves this about you. All right, you or your person could be a Scorpio and they feel like you're very passionate. You or your person could be an Aries and they feel that you're very courageous. You or your person could be uh, an Aquarius and they feel that you are very friendly. You or your person could be a Gemini and they feel that you are very intelligent. Also, you guys could be air sign, which is Gemini, air, blah, blah, blah. Gemini Aquarius or Libra or water sign, Scorpio, Pisces or or cancer yeah there we go sorry <laughs> so this could be you or their signs all right or within your natal charts bless all right guys so i hope you really like this let me know in the comment section um i'm gonna go off to the extended now where i'm gonna go deeper into this connection what else your person wants to say to you pull messages from more messages from your person and messages from the universe just for you. All right, if you want to meet me there, the link is down below. You're more than welcome to. Bless. All right, guys, Um, please like the video if this resonated with you, if you liked my energy, etc., etc., however it goes. I love you. All right, <laughs> leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you felt about this. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell button so you get notified when I post. I post three to four times a week. Okay, bless. All right, guys, so if this is where we part ways, I love you. And I wish you nothing but the best. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>